It's hard to believe if I were to travel just 70 years ago, this little guide could potentially save my life. I'm Kara St. Cyr, and this is Safe Haven, Louisiana's Green Book. Hotel Lincoln's history is shrouded in mystery. It's an abandoned brick building sitting at the heart of Baton Rouge's once prominent black commercial district. It hasn't been open to the public since the 70s, and it shows. But some people still remember its glory days. All right, we are at Hotel Lincoln. Lewis Hall is an 85-year-old retired partygoer who still enjoys margaritas on a Wednesday night. When he was in his teens and early 20s, Hotel Lincoln was the official hangout spot for anybody who was anybody. And Lewis was definitely somebody. Oh, wow. It's a disaster. I didn't know it was a black-owned hotel at oh, all. Yeah. I thought it was just an abandoned building. Black-owned hotel. Can't find any pictures of it. Well, you want to go ahead inside? Huh? I don't know what you can see inside. Some stuff. Huh? You see something. It looks dangerous. You're all right. Oh, wow. OK, I'm t this was the main lobby here. This? Right here. Right here, OK. And here you came in here, up front. This is where you go through this door to the cafe. And what they would do is where the cook was, as they fix your food, they put it on the table, and the waitress take it and put it on the table, see? What they serve? Huh? What did they serve? Oh, nothing but good food, especially in, in, uh, in breakfast, grits and eggs and stuff like that. They were, we had good cooks. At that time, everybody had good cooks. The hotel was built by Dr. Aristotle Chapman in August 1955 and first appeared in the Green Book in 1957. It had 46 rooms with baths and air conditioning throughout the entire building which may seem like a no-brainer, but localized air conditioning was hard to come by, especially in Black-owned businesses. To Lewis, this place was the epitome of style. What made this one so modern? What set it apart? Because it's with different brick and uh, modern bathrooms and all that stuff. And you see the floors, you see the floors out there? That's modern at the time, you know. It was luxury. Mm -hmm. Hotel Lincoln quickly became a hotspot for Black travel and celebrity appearances. Artists like the Clovers would perform at a nearby McKinley High School, Memorial Stadium, and Temple Roof Garden, which was a big nightclub. No matter how famous the artist was, their hotel options were limited if they were black. So Hotel Lincoln was the place, and the fans knew it. Lewis vividly remembers Jackie Wilson stopping his car outside the lobby to sign autographs. So they would just kind of hang out, celebrities would yeah, just yeah, be upstairs. Out. Yeah, well, you know, the entire town ain't no only place to go, you know? And everybody come over here, and that's how I got familiar with some of the guys, you know. Like almost everything in the Green Book, business started to decline in the late 60s. Did you ever think that this hotel would turn into this? You no, know, but I felt like it because after you could see what was happening after integration, and people just started backing off. The building was sold in the late 60s, and it officially closed down in the 70s. Though many people have talked about it, no one has been able to bring the Lincoln back to life. A developer has taken interest in revamping it recently, and I can't wait to see what he'll do. This place is special, and it should be preserved for years to come. Exxon Mobil Baton Rouge is proud to support Safe Haven, Louisiana's Green Book. For more than 100 years, Exxon Mobil has made a commitment to workforce diversity, and the belief that reflecting on historic race relations is key to shaping a better future.